Welcome to the second basic tutorial for Gates of Hell. Today we will be going over basic gameplay mechanics to help you improve your game. Let's start by explaining how to select units, group units, and create squad numbers. Using the mouse, hover over your desired soldier and left click to select. Doing this will highlight the selected unit on the screen and provide info on the type and main weapon being utilized. Next, let's go over grouping units. Hold down left click and drag a selection box over the units you want to group. Doing so will create a squad, as seen on the left side of your screen. By holding shift and the number 1 through 9, you can create hotkeys to quickly select squads during your session. Let's go over the cover spread for infantry. To place units in cover, hover the cursor over the desired object after which we'll change into a silhouette shape, then right click. Different types of cover will provide various amounts of protection and lessen the spotting time from enemy units. If you would like to alter the spread of infantry going into cover, hold right click and drag up. Let's go over unit movement orders. A single right click will order the squad or individual unit to go to that point at a normal speed. If you double right click, the unit or squad will move to that point at the fastest speed possible. Let's go over throwing grenades. In Gates of Hell, there are two ways you can throw a grenade. The way I personally prefer is hotkeys. For anti personnel grenades, it's F1. For anti tank grenades, it's F2. And for smoke grenades, it's F3. Here's a quick demonstration of a hotkey in use. This is pressing F1, and as you can see, it's selecting the grenade. Left click at the desired spot, and there's your grenade throw. This can be done with any grenade. This is F3 with a smoke. As you can see, the smoke just went off successfully. And I can do it manually. I can go down to the menu, left click, and left click on the desired spot where the grenade should go. Let's go over digging a foxhole. You're going to left click on the desired soldier, then left click on dig small foxhole icon. Then you're going to hold left click and drag in the desired direction you want the foxhole to face. In this case, I'll have it face north. Let go of the left click, and your soldier will begin to build a foxhole. Let's go over inventory. By left clicking on the desired soldier, you can press X to activate the inventory examine button. Left click on this ammo crate here and you can see we act, can access its inventory. Left click allows you to drag items between inventories. A little trick, if you hold shift and left click, you can only bring one item over. By using these arrows on the top here, you can switch all of one side's inventory to the other. This can go back and forth and press X to exit this inventory. This can also be done soldier to soldier. By pressing X again, we can exchange items between soldiers. To access this button manually, you'll want to go to the Special Options tab and go to Examine. Now, let's go over mines. Typically, mines come with the engineering truck and can be equipped to fuel engineers or any unit that has an inventory available. If you go to the inventory, you can see we have access to anti-personnel and anti-tank mines. You are going to left click and then right click and drag. As you can see here, we are given icons to display where those mines will be placed. Another way to do this, which is my personal favorite way to lay down mines, is you're going to left click 
and hold shift and you can place them in very specific customized areas. In regards to AT obstacles, the same process can be applied. Left click to select, then right click and drag. And again, we repeat that process with the shift and left click. And this applies to tank barriers, large sandbags, and small sandbags as well. In order to repair vehicles and static weapons, you must go to the Special Options tab and click Repair. If you look towards the bottom left, you can see which component is being repaired by the flashing indicator. In regards to fire modes, there are three types Gates of Hell allows you to use. There is hold fire, return fire, and fire at will. As you can see when I put it on fire at will, the gun I'm currently controlling immediately opened up and began reloading the type of ammunition needed. Return fire basically says that once the enemy shoots at you, the units will return fire. They will not open up as the initial engagement. As you can see, fire at will automatically makes the gun target enemy units. The last topic we will cover is detecting mines. A unit called a sapper has a special mine detecting equipment that if sent forward can detect mines on the ground. As you can see here, when he went over that area, the mines become visible on the map by a red indicator. Thank you for joining me today on this basic gameplay tutorial. See you next time.